Hello guys, this is the team work over here you guys more. I'm managing QB one mode. Yes guys, we're here in, in the AFC Conference Championship. We defeated the Dolphins in the last episode and today we're going to be running the Arizona Cardinals NFL Life label for some reason. This is awkward and... Yeah, but anyway, if you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like, don't forget to subscribe, and make sure to, uh, do the video, um, do the video, no, um, please make sure that this video is gonna be awesome, this video is gonna be amazing, you're gonna enjoy it, I'm pretty sure y'all are gonna, like, decide what's gonna happen think what's gonna happen so the browns versus the raiders that's gonna be sick so i hope that yeah so we are here i know we're gonna smash the browns because the I either, here's the thing, I'm either going to do, like, after season 5, because I just want to play 5 seasons. I either want to play for the Cleveland Browns, because that's going to actually be a real task, or the Arizona Cardinals and try to make them into a dynasty. Now, the thing is, okay, and you're going to have to hear me out. Excuse me. I might put on on all pro with some custom sliders. I might show some losing games, spinning on what games I want to play. Might play some off of off camera. Who knows? And, yeah, I might do that. So... There might be a challenge on the way where I might do like a hundred slider challenge full on. And right there, I just swerved and got a touchdown like that. I'm insanely proud of my offense, like how I do my game. And when you're going to see season five, oh my god, I might, I'm going to take it to the next level with challenges. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna, and I actually might be taking a break from YouTube, depending on, like, my homework and stuff, and right there, I fumbled, and look at that, I, like, fumbled, and, and there was a dog pile, and I think I didn't really fumble, so, yeah, you got it wrong. But I did get a first down in 10, which was good. And I playmakered, and oh my god. When you playmaker in hot, uh, no, not hot. Not that's hockey ultimate team. Mutt, weekend league, franchise mode, online, uh, ga uh, online, ga ranked games, on ranked games, whatever, whatever. Um, uh, Superstar KO the Yard, oh my god, you can do so much more than you could ever possibly can. You can create routes, you can, like, 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 do anything, so, man, and look at me swerve from Jason, no, no, Miles Garrett. Not chasing or Miles Garrett. Have to keep that in mind. There's a difference. And look at the running back like plow its way through into the end zone for the touchdown. So so far the touchdowns have been rushing touchdowns, not receiving touchdowns. So we're gonna wait and see for a passing touchdown. And out of the pistol, we run, we juke out. We get the yardage. See right here, the 24-yard line. We already are there. 
But you know what? I give it to my running back. He does okay. He, he does okay. He, he yeah, he, he's the second out in seven. However, we call it uh, call it RPO, which is really bad. I have yet to do an RPO challenge out of the Oakland Raider playbook. Now, if you saw my my last RPO uh, video, um, it's actually been a while. The last time I did it because it was in Madden franchise, and yeah, um, that that's that. And hmm. So. Yeah, and as you can see, we either are going to be facing the Atlanta Falcons or the Chicago Bears. So, this means in the next season, we potentially could either A, face off against the Lions or another new team for the seventh Super Bowl. Because currently, right now, Okay, we're going to try and go back-to-back -back with the Oakland Raiders, uh, uh, with a three, well, no, a three-P, which has never been accomplished before. Now, if we want to take it one step further, we could, and I'm saying this, we could potentially get the first ever quad, yes, I said that, quad, Pete for season five. And you might be thinking, like, Raul, how would that even work? Well, I don't know. But it's Madden, and you don't know what will happen in a Madden game. So, yeah. And look at that rushing ability, my friends against the Browns. So, I might play for the Browns, I might play for the Lions, I might play for the Arizona Cardinals. Those two, three teams are on my radar so far, because Arizona hasn't won a championship since the 1940s. NFL championship, okay. Detroit Lions have never appeared in a Super Bowl, nor they have, like, they haven't been able to, like, been able to go past the first round of the NFL playoffs. And the Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Browns, they had some success in the 80s, 70s, 60s. They did win an NFL championship in the 60s. They went 0-16, which is a disgrace, and my god, oh god, um, yeah, so, mm -hmm. so, I don't know what to do from that, I don't know, I don't know what to say, because, like, this is what, like, Cleveland Browns are facing, so, here we are. I am trying to do the jet sweep. I am trying to accomplish like a run game with like my um wide receivers to see if they could possibly do it. Right now they're actually doing it. It's working. Another challenge I'm willing to do is use the Carolina playbook where it's like like a QB power and I just run with it, use it. Now, the only issue would be, and uh, you guys can agree on this or not, is that I've never really run read options, power options. You saw my Reno Cunningham retro, uh, retro uh, Reno Cunningham retro Madden 25 clear mode. Then you understand why. And it did feature losses and wins. So, you guys, you don't have to harp on me for that, okay? But, um, the other thing was, if you did see the video, I, as before video, I did, like, have a very sad ending before we could have went overtime, 
all of that stuff, but uh, no, sadly, it had to end abruptly. The NFC Conference Championship game. You know how it ended? I threw up this dish. Jackson, Richard Sherman caught it and he went to the Super Bowl. I believe they faced off against the. I don't know what team. I feel like the New England Patriots. Because of that year. Okay, the Denver Broncos and the Seattle Seahawks and faced each other. And let me tell you, the Seattle Seahawks demolished uh, the, uh, like, the, the, like, the, the New England Patriots, uh, yeah, Denver Broncos. You know, it, it wasn't even close. It was like 43 to 8, like something like that. And it was a... It was, like, really sad, but, like, so, um, yeah, and as you can see, I got a touchdown right there. What a beautiful touchdown. So, we're leading 24-3. to and we have been doing well. Right there. Got uh, tackled. Like, it's amazing how how I've been able to put out videos and stuff like that. So, like, it just makes sense to me that I put out, like, a lot of content and stuff like that. So, I'm really proud of myself, especially since... Um, yeah, I learned there's like jet sweep out of like this four roots play. So look right here, third down and two. I try to run this and it works successfully. And we got a first down. So then I'm like, okay, let's roll out and do it. Let's try and run now. A lot of people are trying to like tackle me, so so I roll out. Da 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 da. -da. All right. So now it's the end of the third quarter. Third down and fifteen. I run this play, and apparently it's one of those plays where like you can. Hmm, uh, never mind that. This is the issue on pro difficulty, apparently. And if anybody can agree, please let me know. But for some reason, the defensive linemen in every game I play get a lot of sacks. Yet I somehow manage to win. Like, it doesn't make any sense. And look at this. I'm running RPO peak zone bubble out of the Arizona Cardinal playbook? I am willing to run this challenge. However, I don't know if it's gonna work. If it would work, actually. And I actually hiked it that late. So now it's fourth down. We punt it and they try. And, and they score. Now it's fourth quarter. 17 seconds on the clock. I decided to like do some like pass plays and stuff like that just to like pad up the stats, you know. I did manage a call a timeout. Because it was a two-possession game, so, like, I wanted to, like, you know, try and keep it out of reach. I actually called my own timeout. So, like, I did come on and come in this formation. Victory formation. Cleveland calls their timeout. I actually personally wanted to, like, again, pad up the stats, but, like, like, right here, I come in this RPO. Because, like, 
a yeah and it was incomplete so what i ended up doing was i went into victory formation that was the end of the game so yeah guys for the third time consecutively the oakland raiders are going to the super bowl we're going to find out who's the implement next week so anyways guys thank you all so much for watching y'all are legends of my book and as for me I'll see you on the next one, and peace.